Now we will learn factorization with the process of middle term breaking and this is used in this shape of maths ax square plus bx plus c and what is the process of middle term breaking while doing these maths we will check that what is the coefficient of x square and what is the constant term we will multiply the first coefficient and the third coefficient we will multiply 1 and 6 coefficient of x square is 1 here so 1 multiplied by 6 equal to 6 now the thing we do that we factorize 6 in all possible ways we can write 6 as 1 into 6 or 2 into 3 and then we will check the signs in front of first term and third term here you can clearly see that the sign of x square is positive and sign of 6 is also positive both are positive so in this case we will add the factors to check that addition of which pair becomes the same as the middle term if we add 1 and 6 we get 7 this is not equal to 5 if we add 2 and 3 we get 5 which is equal to this so in the second line what should we write first term no change third term no change plus we will write two plus signs and we will use this 5x we will write it as 2x plus 3x we will take x as common factor x plus 2 we will take a 3 as a common factor from these two x plus 2 so finally x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 3 this is the answer of question number 1 now if the sign before this 5x is minus instead of plus what will happen then let's see if the expression is x square minus 5x plus 6 the first checking is we will multiply the coefficient of x square and the constant term 1 into 6 this is 6 6 can be factorized as 1 into 6 or 2 into 3 now we will check the signs in front of x square and the common term both are positive same sign so we will add the factors if we add 1 plus 6 we get a 7 if we add 2 and 3 we get a 5 just as like question number 1 so we will write the first term and the third term as it was but what about the middle term we will break it as 2x and 3x and here we can see a minus sign so we will write 2 minus sign and we use this relation we write a 2x and another 3x if we take a x common here x minus 2 minus if we take a 3 common here x we took a minus so this sign will be reversed minus 6 by 3 2 x minus 2 into x minus 3 this is the case where the sign of x square and the sign of the constant term are same but if it is not same what will be the case see the questions here x square plus 5x minus 6 1 into 6 equal to 6 6 equal to 1 into 6 or 2 into 3 when you can see that the sign of x square and the sign before the constant term is not the same they are opposite what to do you need to subtract this 6 minus 1 5 3 minus 2 1 so what do you see here which pair brings the same answer as the middle term this pair so we will use that pair in the middle term how the first term and the third term remains the same 5x for this we will use 6 minus 1 that means for this we will write 6x minus x that means if we take a x common from these two x plus 6 minus if we take a 1 common from these two x and minus minus that turns into plus 6 that means x plus 6 into x minus 1 this is our answer of question number 2
if the same thing goes opposite as like this x square minus 5x minus 6 if we see a uh, expression like this what will we do 1 into 6 6 and we factorize this as 1 into 6 2 into 3 and 6 minus 1 turns into 5 that means this thing matches with this so how to factorize it x square minus 6 for minus 5x we need to use 6 and 1 how to use it minus 6x plus x that means if we take our x as common factor x minus 6 if we take a 1 common here x minus 6 so the answer becomes x minus 6 into x plus 1.